Hello everyone and welcome back to Fortnite event. Today I will make the ultimate guide to help you to level up fast in this season. And you need to reach level 200 if you want to unlock every single reward in this season. And when I started this season guys, I completed my week 1 challenges first and then become this level then I decided to buy the whole battle pass. And then 10 days later I become level 200 and now I am level 210 even though I'm not trying to level up or anything. Anyway, I will show you how easily I got all these levels in 10 days. Make sure to watch the entire video and, and look at the timestamps down below so you can navigate during the video. I want to start with the best method to level up fast in this season, actually the creative XP. So notice amount of XP I have before I start creative game and remember guys, uh, like Fortnite has uh, changed the creative XP a little bit after the last update. It's still the same amount, but you can no longer see how much XP you got in creative. Like there's no XP bar, there is nothing, there is no even timer on the screen. But if you press M, you can see uh, the timer uh, on the map itself. And also guys, while you are AFK, if you record uh, that video, you can notice that you got some XP by, like that, but it's just flash. So this is the creative XP works and as you can see we got more XP and by the way guys uh, the creative uh, XP I, I call it the AFK, the AFK method for creative it receives every time with the challenges so, so make sure to play creative if you want to get at least two levels per day. Also guys I want to talk about the daily quest because the daily quest give you daily of 51k XP which is quite cool as well. And if you missed some of these quests, no problem, on the next day you will get supercharged XP. But remember guys, if you missed more than one day, it doesn't stack, so you will get only one day of that supercharge. And now the most important thing usually is the rat quest. And by the way, you cannot see these quests unless you completed 70-80% to 80 of them. And they will give you the easiest method to complete all of the hidden quests. And by the way guys, you can complete your rare quest in this mood, like any community creation can be counted. Of course, it will not be counted in creative itself, but it will be counted if the mood is actually published as community creation. So make sure guys to play any of these modes, especially if you could play with friends, it will be much more easier. Since you can complete most of the elimination and I will show you later in this video. By the way guys, I completed around 17 quests in this community creation mode and I got over 1 million XP through playing these you know, games, which is quite amazing. By the way, these games change it by time, so this game mode actually, may maybe it's online now, maybe it's offline, depends on the time you are watching this video. But anyways, you can play any other modes and you can do the same thing, completing your challenges, okay? And by the way, it's quite amazing. Just do it, it's worth it. And they will give you the link below to all the challenges they have completed in this mode, okay? And by the way, guys, also there's some modes that you can play with friends. Like in this mode, I can actually play with friends. And my friends simply help me to complete my pickaxe elimination. Like, you know, the melee elimination is quite hard to do. So these friends are just. Letting me killing them as easy as that, so wow, I can just complete it easily. Yeah, <laughs> thank you guys for letting me kill you. And also, guys, there's a nightmare challenge which is actually dealing damage from 150 meters away. This one is quite hard, especially when uh, Fortnite changes the team ramble. So now, on mission from 100 meters away, it's easy since my friends is now against me and they let me kill them. Like, they stand still doing nothing and they can shoot them in the head like that. <laughs> and then let's move on to another quest and this one is quite easy. Just come to Dirty Ducks here exactly guys and you can done a disused quest. But remember, you need a lot of gold before you can come here. So I recommend watching the card that will show up on this screen right now so you can know how to get a lot of gold cards so you can do this quest. Easy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so actually it's 3, 25, 50, 100, and 200. And by the way, you also spin gold cards during the process. And there is actually guys another method to do this a challenge simply by crafting a hunter clocks. Of course you need 4 meat and once you craft this item just use it, then drop it in the ground, then use it again. Yeah, that's how simply you can do it. But the only problem this one has 10 seconds delay, 
but the other one there is no delay but of course remember the other one needs a lot of gold bars this one doesn't need any gold bars so either of these method use it it's up to you let's move on guys to another challenge and for this one you need to come at steamy stacks and you're gonna steal this ufo okay steal it then you will come here at the orchard and you will get some of these apples and corn okay then use the ufo to search around for the animals like you know the poire for example and i can tame actually animals using these of course for wolves you need meat but for bars you need only apples or corn Just search from above like that. It's much more easier to find animals. There is another one here. Yeah, let's drop. Throw one of these. And go to tame ham. Click here, guys, okay? And you don't need any weapon. Just steal the thing. Yeah, the alien check or UFO. Uh, so, once you steal it, just steal it like that. Then go and destroy these shrubs at holy hedges. Okay, so this is the first thing I'm gonna do. I need to destroy up to 500 shrubs, five different plants. Easy one, by the way, like I did it in two games. And by the way, during the process, you will be able to destroy trees, uh, which is up to 2,500. And now, yeah, I am almost destroyed a lot of shrubs. Uh, by the way, this is my second game, so how much I destroyed so far. Oh my god, you see I can destroy 6 shrubs at the same time. 498. Yeah, 500 shrubs in 2 games. Two games. Nice. And this is not the only thing you can do, you can also destroy rocks, like up to 1000 rocks you can destroy. By the way, using this shop you can destroy the rock with one hand, unless the, the rock is really big. But all the small rocks can be destroyed in one hand, and try to head between the two rocks. Challenge guys, players treasure destroyed in a vehicle. This one is quite easy, just wait for the mid to late game. Until people are uh, engaged in a build fight, then you will start destroying these builds using the UFO that you have. And the challenge will be done easily. Move to another really method to complete a bunch of different challenges at once. And this one is just to set structure on fire and also damage opponent with fire and also destroying trees. And also you can, you know, uh, travel distance with the UFO since you, you are using it. Yeah, most of actually my methods depends on the UFO because it's really fast and good. Okay, now I gonna collect all these fireflies from wedding goods yeah i got seven nice now i'm gonna use them at different direction the first direction here and the second direction here i'm i'm telling you guys this method because you can you're gonna do it in one game actually you can complete the 500 uh you know structure in one game so literally watch this yeah, it's pretty awesome okay once you guys you reach that start throwing these at different direction of course since you are at the ufo you can see the whole area around you which is quite awesome of course after destroying most of the weapon woods you can also find more of these like literally you can find ton of these fireflies at weapon woods yeah and then just destroying the whole area as you can see guys like wait wait let me show you in the sky wow you see guys Whoa. Oh, I destroyed Waving Goose completely. <laughs> Waving Goose has no longer had trees. <laughs> yeah, and also, guys, I completed the Ignite opponent with fire. It, even that, I didn't kill any opponent. Like, <laughs> he, ju he just killed by himself. You know, bots and stuff will just trap in the fire and they will die. <laughs> oh, I see player there. Nice. Let's destroy more trees. Oh my god, more fireflies here. Yeah. Of course, you think the UFO is the best thing since it helps you a lot to, you know, to recognize the whole area and you know, move faster, getting more fireflies and stuff. So I recommend doing it with the UFO. Oh, there's someone here. Let's try to kill him with that. Oh, what? What is this? <laughs> 
Okay, uh, I think I'm about to complete the challenge, so yeah, I almost completed. I destroyed the whole area, but still some trees there. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, ignite structure with fire 25, 50, 100, 200, 500, done. 500, done. Let's go. <laughs> now, moving on, guys, another challenge, and this one is to lead the melee damage to structure. Quite easy, just do it in Team Rebel and find the enemy structure and keep destroying them like that. And I have completed the third stage now, 25,000 damage to this structure. Easy one, by the way. Structure, you simply need to start this mood, orange versus blue 100. And once the game mode starts, you need to get some gold, then buy these shockwave grenades, okay? And once you buy these, you're gonna shockwave yourself into opponent structure. Like that. Just keep doing that over and over until the challenge is completely done. This is the final stage, by the way. As we see, we came here at KD Corner, and actually, we're going to consume all the mushrooms, apples, uh, or all the forest items that we can find at the area. So, yeah, like there is a lot of boxes. I know this at this area. By the way, I prefer doing this at uh, you know KD Corner. Even that, there is another location I will show it also in the video later that you can do the same thing there. But the other location is actually worth it for apples if you are trying to do the apples quest anyways we got like too many quests we can done here the first quest is actually forage items up to 500 and consume apples up to 250 consume bananas up to 250 and consume mushrooms up to 250 and uh, finally light up a campfire up to 150 so this is Five quests. Each quest has five uh, stages, and of course, each stage will give you twelve thousand XP. So this is quite amazing, getting this amount of XP by just doing this. Wow. Yeah, and remember, guys, if you came to KD Corner or even to the other location, which I'm going to show it later in this video, make sure to light the campfire because it's really important, guys. And also make sure, guys, to start these campfire because it counts as just light. Okay, and this is the first spot. The second spot is actually at the orchard. You can do the same thing here at the orchard by just consuming apples. But I hate going to the orchard itself because you no longer be able to, uh, you know, uh, pick up these apples. So I, I prefer going inside this building since there's a lot of these things which you can destroy, and it drops a lot of apples and corn. So. Make sure to consume as much as you can since you need actually apples for the challenge and also uh, corn will be uh, useful to uh, get the 500 forage items. A quick tip guys to uh, shake down opponent, come at Corona Complex and you can, you know, downstairs here directly so you can find weapons like that and then go up, kill these henchmen. Yeah, and by the way, you can, uh, you know, shake down these henchmen or die ogres twice. Like, I'm gonna search him now, and I will wait. I'm gonna just hold him here. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. So I can search him for another time. So you can do this with all the henchmen around the area, even the boss. You can do the same. Search him twice. Feed you that you can kill a uh, henchman and then shake down them twice. But this is really hard method. I think the best method is doing it in bat lobby since I can kill around 30 player in one game. Oh, not 30, but like normally I uh, I kill around 20 player in one game, especially in squads. So all I'm gonna do is actually killing uh, two of the squad or three of the squad, then shake down them. I I don't recommend killing the third because once once you kill the third, all the three will die. So shake down the three player and leave the, the, the last one to, you know, left. Don't kill him. Don't fight him at all. Just ignore that guy. He, he, they are bots anyway. They will not kill you. So, yeah, get as much as you can from mats so you can protect yourself. 
Yeah, the last part is there. He's shooting at me. I'm trying to protect myself. Okay. Hopefully he's going away. Now, what I'm gonna do is actually going to search them again because I shake down them once. I need to do the second shakedown. Yeah, oh my god, one of them already dead, but no problem. I still got the other two. Yeah, so I did. Oh, I just did exactly before he dies. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna also shake down this one. So I'm gonna do this over and over with all the other parts on the set. But of course, the best method is doing it in bot copies. And for this quest guys, which is actually collect nuts and pullets, I'm gonna come to wreck and buy all the 8 nuts and pullets. And by the way, here is the location of this guy. And once I've done this, I will search for all, all around for these boxes, then I will drop all the nuts and pullets I have, then I will recollect them. So they will be counted as a new one. And don't forget guys, also use all these nuts and pullets to craft all your items so you can do two challenges at once, collect nuts and pullets and also craft weapons a challenge. And we have another quest guys which is actually upgrade weapons and I recommend doing it in solo since you can upgrade the common weapons easily. You will find a lot of common weapons around the area and it costs you only 200 you know, gold bars. Moving on guys to another quest and this one is just you know to catch fish and and fish at fishing holes. I think the best way is around Crag Cliff because it contains a lot of fishing holes here and not a lot of people land there. Maybe some, especially the bots. <laughs> like this bot. <laughs> Gonna kill him. What are you doing, bot? And guys, once you complete all the requests, you will get tons of XP. And before we end, don't forget to thank the bus driver. It's really important. And don't forget guys to search supply drops in Team Rumble since it will give you also XP. And don't forget guys to hit the weak points. Always hit the weak points. It's really awesome. And now let's move to the glitches we have. The first glitch is actually the meat glitch. You need actually eight meat, four in the ground and four in your inventory. And of course your inventory must be full. Then you will throw one of the meats and then you collect the other four, like that. Throw one, collect the other four. Throw one, collect the other four, like that. Throw one, collect the other four. And you will be able to done all the 2,500 in almost one or two games. And for this one guys, it's actually the swimming glitch, all you have to do is just start the swimming before the battle bus starts to move and the travel distance travel while swimming will be done. You can do also the same thing with the gliding, if, if you didn't complete the quest yet, you can start gliding before the battle bus starts to move and also travel distance while gliding will be done. Please note, every time you do this glitch, you will travel 2500 meters, so it's not necessary to get XP from every time. And by the way, let's move on to another uh, bug, and this one is actually to collect nuts and pollen. I recommend doing it in solo, for, of course I explained it before in, the, in this video, but this method is better if you, guess if you want to make it on larger scale. What you're gonna do is collecting all nuts and pollen from all the NPCs using the UFO, and you will get Requiem Scanner also with you, since you can search through these nuts and pollen. What you're gonna do now is actually once we collected all the nuts and pull it, we will swap, we will drop all what we have on the ground like that and recollect them. Let's check how much we have. Okay, we have four, 477. After collecting, oh, I collected already for 500. Yeah, you have to keep doing that over and over if you want to complete the challenge completely, up to 2500. Of course, it's hard, it makes some, take some time, but yeah, you can do it at the end. There is also a really me good method if you want to harvest tune super fast. You need to play this mood orange versus blue, but it may th the mood not available. You need to wait until it comes back. All you have to do is just dropping this tune you have before you start playing this mood. And every time you die, it will be c count as collected 1000 stone. Like this time, I can die. Once I die, I collected 1000 stone and the challenge is done. This is the really hard stage by the way but i already done it in like 10 minutes okay let's search for some parts now we got enough okay there's a part there let's there let's go for him he doesn't have a weapon so come on come on, come on you're 
trap, buddy. Calm down. Okay, he is in fire now. Wow. Uh, by the way, I was 61, so I got four ignite. This guy only. Wow, there's two other bots here. Oh, I need wood, and if I want to kill them, I need. damage these random trees like on all directions since actually bots moving around the area they don't they got they don't see anything like maybe some of these bots will trap in these fire you know like normally because i got a lot of these so i can actually burn everything like you see this bot right right there wait where did he go yeah he's swimming now he maybe moves in in the fire he doesn't even <laughs> understand how the fire works so let's see 69 i didn't attack him yet okay he didn't yeah maybe he didn't oh this this is a real player okay wow he he got into the fire oh my god i killed 71 i didn't even attack him what oh Okay, I need to put you on fire, buddy. No, no, no. Yeah, it's my opponent with fire. Done. And for this one, guys, which actually you need to destroy sofas or chairs or pets, uh, I think the best method to do it is actually to come here at this location and you're gonna destroy these chairs. Uh, I think there's around uh, 35 to 40 chairs at this area. Uh, quite amazing and not bad amount. Uh, oh, longer way. So you need to focus on only destroying the chairs because the only thing is actually counted here, the chairs. So it's kinda useless to destroy anything else like tables and stuff. So just focus on the chairs. Oh, nice. Okay. And what you're gonna do guys after this is actually taking the UFO or one of the cars, it's not a problem. Then go heading directly to Webbing Hood. And in this house you will see also another chair. And by the way, to destroy these you need to destroy 25, 50, 100, 250, up to 500, the final stage. And yeah, the challenge will be done after. So just do as, as I'm doing right now to be able to get at least 70 chairs in, you know, in one game. And so on and stuff in one game. And guys, let's go for another one. Actually, this mod this one is modding a vehicle. I already uploaded this one in my last video. But uh, I was wrong, like I thought that I can I, I have to search for cars around to be able to mod them. But nah, there is easier and much easier method. I found it in comments, like there is a lot of comments said that to me. Uh, so yeah, all you, have to, all you have to do is just actually going to any vehicle. Like uh, for example, you have, I have, wait, where is the challenge? Oh, it's uh, so I have 46 here. I'm gonna go to this vehicle, then mod it, then destroy the fire so I can mod it again, like that. So this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, I said you have to search for cars in my last video, but I was wrong. This is easily you can done it. Also, guys, we have a rare quest to uh, revive a teammate, also to reboot a teammate. So to do this easily, just ask your friends to do it with you. Like uh, I have HyperXC and Darkwing help me doing this challenge. They just kill themselves so I can, you know, revive them over and over until my challenge is done. The, sir, the first phase, he died here, then he will jump, wait, okay, 
as you can see guys this is easily where i can just collect the card but i have to wait for the card to come back okay let's reboot the squad So it doesn't matter if you have tails or squats, it's it will only be counted as one. Yeah, so. Also guys, you can do all the elimination challenges in this mode, like this one, SMG elimination, it's done 150 SMG elimination, easy. And guys, you can also do the shotgun, assault rifle, pistols, uh, like sniper, uh, you know, explosive. You can also do the harpoon, which is actually the most important, since you don't find the harpoon in the normal games and moving on guys to so another one actually this one is to use bandage and uh, you know uh, use small uh, shield potions and you can don this a challenge in this mood but I don't recommend doing it all the time like if you have a challenge and you are about to complete just do this like you get an explosive damage yourself then use the bandages and shield potions also guys, there is ch this is a challenge I forgot to tell you about in my latest video. By the way, you need to, sh to see all my latest video because I made a lot of different videos about how to level up fast. And by the way, they are all helpful and they got really easy methods in most of these videos. Anyways, for this challenge, you need to come uh, at this exact location so you can harvest a lot of wood. By the way, the wood here is awesome. Like, I can get 1000 wood in no time. And once I get what, my 1000 wood, I will go directly to this campfire okay then i will start lightning and stock this campfire so yeah i need to carve to stock and light up this campfire because i know many people forgot about this one like actually you can stock campfire for up to 150 times to get the challenge done and they, i think you can do you can do done this in like two games like I, I done 70 times in one game so i think you can do done this in like two games three games max to complete the challenge completely yeah, keep doing. Yeah. Nice. So before we end this video, guys, you may ask, can I reach level 200 before the end of this season? Of course, yes, you can reach level 200 before the end of this season, especially if you are doing creative every day like literally creative alone is enough to reach level 100 before the end of this season i think you can may reach to be able to reach level like 110 by the creative xp method only and also by completing your daily challenges 17 k per challenge and you have three challenges every day wow tons of xp like both of these two like literally can reach 100 up to 150 without doing any of your weekly challenges also you're doing weekly challenges 30k per challenge and also the legendary quest wow and go I, guys you can you have to do also these quests like you know uh the cosmic summer and, and these you know limited time quests give you a, also a lot of xp so you need to do those and finally guys if you want to uh, like if you completed all of these quests and you want to level up fast like I did in the beginning of the season, you can complete your daily, your uncommon quest like this one, giving you 1.7k every time. So I'm going just to play TM Rumble and finish this quest over and over. I'm trying to complete three quests, then I leave the game, then I start a new one. You don't have to complete the game until the end. And also, guys, there is another method using the Raycon scanner, since Raycon scanner is telling you where the, uh, where the chest and everything around. So you can just use it until you know you can search more chest and you can get more xp thanks a lot guys for watching and if you like this video please leave a like it takes a lot of time to record and you know edit everything like it's really 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 hard to publish some uh, sort of these videos so please leave a like and subscribe if you want to help me bye